Hey YouTubers, today's video is about neutrinos. On September 12th, I attended Ice Fishing for Neutrinos, a lecture hosted by Francis Halsen, a physics professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. The lecture was titled, Ice Fishing for Neutrinos, because Halsen led a team of physicists to observe neutrinos by drilling through the Antarctic ice. Halsen's experiment was made possible by the three kilometers of ice in the South Pole. The ice cube venture drilled into the ice one mile deep and stationed a computing center on top. This was all done to measure neutrinos. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that are incredibly difficult to observe. We learn in Physics 1 that particles can decay into one another. However, when a neutron decays into a proton, there is another interaction that is challenging to explain. Neutrinos seem to be at the heart of every interaction. They are present when stars explode. Halsen and his fellow physicists used a particle collider to measure neutrino interaction. The basic idea is a beam that absorbs everything except for neutrinos. The neutrinos travel through the cosmic accelerator. Halsen's novel approach was sending photomultipliers that look kind of like disco balls down into the ice. Despite the fact that the detector itself was an entire kilometer squared, Halsen still only had a 1 in 6 chance of observing the neutrinos. Looking more into the project IceCube, IceCube has been built to last for 20 years. That's not a small amount of time at all, considering the energy and electronics that go into powering such a cosmic accelerator. In 2013, the IceCube project won the Physics Breakthrough of the Year Award. I'm very thankful to have had the opportunity to attend a lecture by such a distinguished physicist as Francis Halsen. That's all for today.